Hi, I am Adrian Dominguez, pastor of New Heights Baptist Church, and I just want to welcome you to join us tomorrow uh, in our live stream at 11 o'clock. Or if you're in the Denver Aurora area, we'd love to have you join us in the parking lot. I've jokingly said a few times that um, when I told our church, hey, meet me in the parking lot at 11 o'clock, sounds like we're ready for a fight. Um, I guess you could say we're, we're ready for a fight with uh, the world, the flesh, and the devil, uh, but not with the Lord. We're inviting the Lord to come with us, and uh, we hope that he joins us tomorrow, and we hope you join us tomorrow as well. Um, you can find our address at uh, our website, NHBC Aurora. That stands for New Heights Baptist Church Aurora. And um, just want to give you an idea of what's going on. We're going to be starting a new series tomorrow called All About Jesus. And I will tell you, uh, it does not take um, someone to be super glued to the TV or the news to know that it's been about everything but the Lord for the last two, three months. Our minds, maybe our hearts, and, and even in some cases our churches have been consumed with uh, staying safe and uh, sheltering in place and uh, making sure that our physical bodies are maintained um, and, and while we don't judge anyone for staying safe, keeping yourself healthy, uh, I will tell you that there is something so much more important in your physical life. It is your, if you're saved, it's your walk with the Lord Jesus Christ. And if you don't know Christ as your Savior, uh, it's your soul. And Jesus said, what shall a profit man if he gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Once you're saved, really everything in your life should center around Jesus Christ. And if it doesn't, you have to ask yourself why that is. And, and whether it's because of a, a national or a global pandemic crisis or simply because you're busy, uh, uh, family problems, financial issues, fill in the blank, uh, any one of those things can get our attention set in a different direction rather than our lives being about Jesus. So we're going to start this series tomorrow. I hope you can join us. Uh, the first topic we'll look at is the perception of Jesus. Who is Jesus um, who do people perceive him to be? And what does this book say about Jesus? And, and who is he scripturally? Because that's really the question, what say the scriptures? So I'm going to give you this much to chew on. Hopefully you can meet us tomorrow, whether it's on the live stream or in the parking lot. I would love to have you. Uh, but there's a story in John chapter 12 about some Greeks that came to the feast. And they were there for the feast of Passover uh, to worship. And the Bible says in John 12 verse 21, the same talking about the Greeks, came therefore to Philip, which was of Bethsaida of Galilee, and desired him, saying, Sir, we would see Jesus. Philip cometh and telleth Andrew, and again Andrew and Philip tell Jesus. Now, there's so much here. There's, uh, you know, things you can learn about uh, the character of Philip and Andrew, and we learn about these men in different places of the Bible. But let me also say that the Greeks made a great request. They simply said this, Sir, we would see Jesus. My prayer is that you desire the same thing. And my prayer is after tomorrow's service, you would see him a little bit more clearly. Uh, we hope to have you tomorrow. Again, you can look us up at nhbcaurora.com. We will be live streaming on Facebook and on YouTube as well. Um, and if nothing else, this video is further proof that pastors do not wake up in the morning naturally in three-piece suits. You're welcome. God bless you. I hope to see you tomorrow.